Okay, we're doing some evening chores here. First things first. Gotta pick up my toys. Gotta pick up his toys. He's doing a little bit of work here with the bees. That's all wax there. They're cleaning it up. Pretty cool. You didn't like that. I did get a sting yesterday. I got a couple of them. I got five of them all together. That one hive was they were roaring. Mad. They were mad. Well, we haven't gone in them that much. And the other, we're still working with our new swarm too. So, get a lot going. Bucket system's up and going, guys. Branch is out on the leash. Clay made another lead for him too. Rabbits and guinea pigs are outside having a good time. And we also caught up a bunch of chicks. Yes. Which we're going to go check right now. Turkey's laying. See what happened is with my nest box, it has six compartments. And we let them lay all the eggs they wanted. We didn't take eggs from them about two weeks. And each nest box had two little hens setting on all the eggs. So there were like 12 or 13. We got a couple other nests on the other side that they sat too. But they started hatching out. So what we did is we took one of the setting hens from that nest box that were hatching out. We took all the chicks away from her. Excuse me. And we put her in the brooder with all those chicks. And then the extra eggs that we took from the other nests that were hatching, we put those back under the one hen that didn't have any eggs or chicks so she's still continuing to set and hatch chicks out. That, that was the chickens um, which we're going to show you but before we do that let's show them the pigeons pigeons because we haven't shown them shown anyone the pigeons yet. We've just so much is going on guys. They just have a ton going on here. <laughs> Uh-oh. Get stung? I don't know. I got something on my... Be careful because they're yeah. They do go down in the grass. So. <laughs> I got something on me. Get your shoe back on. Yeah, I got stung. Stinking little bee. There he is. Yeah, all you have to do is step on him once. And... So I got stung on the pot. <laughs> well, be careful because the other ones pick up and you get stung. And be yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize it was a bee on the ground. Sorry, guys. I got to make sure that stinger's out. Could you hold this there and show the gum? I'm going to scrape that stinger out. I don't know how well they're going to be able to see. Because it's got a flashlight, so. Alright, there's the, the two young ones. These guys are probably about four days old. And they grow fast, real fast. And this one's just a couple of eggs from the mother from the nest over here. And this baby is a week old. And you see how big he is. He'll be flying in about a week, a week and a half. But they're all doing really good. These are the, these are the parent stock. And like I said, the, the hen has got another set of eggs. And uh, and these guys mother decides that she's ready to lay more eggs the father will take care of these two and she'll go to another nest like over there or even on the floor even. so that's the pigeon situation there's our, our food all right let's go and see about some baby chicks and get out of here You guys might recognize this barn as the one we had a bunch of rabbits in. About a year or so. Oh, on the floor. Okay, you can video again, Ruth. Okay. Wasn't too quick with the beast. I just got one bee staying and now you're two. Well, did we get you again? No. Well, how'd you get two if you. Well, yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Okay. I got grape juice on my face. I was drinking grape juice, guys. Sorry about my hand. <laughs> well, there was some live action. We got and, to bee. <laughs> and 
Gertrude is setting. It, our turkey. She's setting in there in that doghouse. The storm's old doghouse. So we can try to see her too well. She's not showing up so good in here. And she's with the bantams. If you get stung by a bee, you don't pull it out, you scrape it and it comes out. Yeah. Otherwise you'll drive it in farther. You're right. And you'll drive the, drive the poison in. If you just pinch it. Alright, here's the mom and her babies. We let Millie have the babies. And Millie's my favorite chicken. Gotta get up, Millie, so we can see the babies. There we go. There's a lot of babies. A lot of babies. I think there's 14 babies there. And she's taking care of all of them. Alright, let me move their feeder over towards them so they can eat. Alright, now let's uh, see if we've got any more that's got to be moved. If they've got to be moved, they've got to go in the old, the old quail cage. Gotta get this back in the barn before it gets wet too. Supposed to rain Wednesday. Oh. You guys are hungry? Hang on a second, I'll get you some. Our cat vaccine is out and about. She, she's our best behaving cat, that's what we always say. And she doesn't like to be held. Well, she's not. The other cats, she's we. She's the dog's cat. She's the dog's cat. She doesn't like to be held. We say that because we like the other cats, but sometimes, sometimes they're all over us when. And this one's all over the dog. And this one's all over the dog. We don't mind that they're all over us, but sometimes if you're trying to work or on the computer or clean and they're jumping on you. Corn girls. some wheat and some pellets. Chicken situated, I can throw the excess eggs out and start start fresh with some eating eggs again. As soon as the hens are all off the nest. Alright, here's some wheat. You want some wheat? Got there? And your pellets are in there, Gunther. Come on. Come on, Gunther. I've got the attack issues out of here. Got a couple of bantams that were really aggressive, but I was gonna take them to the auction and then we didn't go to the auction. Well we were pretty tired because we went to the drive in and we were up till five and we weren't sure if we wanted to go because it was a extra auction and they were gonna have horses and everything and it was gonna be like really long and 
We didn't know how it was all going to work out. Then I talked to some of my friends who were at work that went. Oh, yeah, what'd they say? There was four horses, roosters, and rabbits, and that's all they had. Wow. We didn't need either. Yeah, we would have been like, why'd we go? <laughs> Son of a pen, I gotta check on the one in here. She's been on the longest. Even a Lily, she's not happy. She got her feathers up. See that? Okay, Millie, I'll leave ya. Oh, she's. I don't even know if any of those chicks are hers. I don't think one of them is hers. But she's feeling motherly. Okay, you can play mommy. She was broody, which means if you're new to farming, like she's thinking about being a mother so when they get like that they want to lay eggs and hatch them they oh they sit quit laying eggs when they're setting yeah, well don't they lay a bunch and then they set on them right he'll tell they'll set on them okay so when they're broody that means they're stop laying eggs they're not gonna lay any eggs so you might as well let them sit on some eggs. And sometimes you almost have to break them to get out of that stage. Because it's almost like they won't even eat and drink. Crack clay? When they get broody, sometimes they're almost like it's hard to even get them to eat and drink, right? Sometimes? Yeah. He said yes. I always ask clay. Heard me say that before you hear me, hear me say it again. He's been farming probably for over 40 years, maybe 45, almost 50. So I might as well ask him, right? I'm wearing the lot though. I've been doing it for seven years, eight years. Now, how did that big old turkey get in there? She's got in there. We've got too many roosters. We don't need this many roosters, but we have a lot of them. Do we have any babies that we're taking out, or what's the story with the babies? Uh, we still have some. Oh. Okay. Sometimes you can leave the baby chicks with the parents. Sometimes we bring them in. One mama's got two eggs and bunch of, or two babies and bunch of eggs, so. We'll let them go until tomorrow night, and we'll take one of the hens with the babies that are left, put them in the brooder cage, and then uh, she'll take care of those chicks. Because I know Millie's, the Millie Fleurs are very good mothers. Any of the, you get any of the chickens that are feathered legs are usually good mothers. I have a stupid question to ask, but I want to Okay, ask stupid questions are answered today. All right, are answered today? All right, I got stung by a bee yesterday, right? I really don't want to take a ben Benadryl, and I got stung today. No, you? you don't need a Benadryl for one bee sting. I know, but... Not unless like, you're swelling up. But because I got stung yesterday, don't worry about it. No. Right, that was like a little bit That's like shutting the barn door after the horse gets out. <laughs> well, I don't want to just take a Benadryl just to take a Benadryl. Oh. And my foot's not swelling. You're fine. Oh, so I, I think I'm just gonna skip it. Almost that back up put in the... Well, some people do stuff, don't do anything. I'm not allergic to them. You're not allergic to them. Well, I'm not allergic to them. Been well, they say that most. They say that I heard they say everybody's allergic to them, but some people more than others. 
and most people like they're not really allergic so they don't even you know it's like one of those things like everybody might get a little swell but if you're having like major issues so yep I don't even think they're swelled it just got stung Are the babies eating? I just walked over there and she acted crabby because I looked at her. She was rough with her. Get right close to the wire. Babies are eating here. See, they're in the they're in the feeder. But that's a good sign if they're if they got their little crops full. That's good. You hear the music? Hmm? You hear the music? The See, they can go 24 hours without eating because they've got all that yolk from inside the egg still in their abdomen. So now's about the time they're going to start want, start getting hungry, and she's going to. Walk them around to the feeder. See, they're eating out a little red feeder, a little yellow chicken on the back side. Good deal. That's good. That's good. good sign. She'll walk them over to the water, teach them all how to drink, and you're going to lose a few. You, it's inevitable, but she'll take care of the majority of them. And that pretty much takes care of the chores for tonight. Okay. The swarm box. They're going in now the swarm box so the night the next night I've got or day I've got off is Saturday so Friday night after nine o'clock we'll shut that swarm box okay. and bring it down onto the platform sounds good so tomorrow night I've got to finish fixing that platform the one where they were before and then we've got some boxes I've got to get ready in case and I'm going to put another swarm box right up in that tree, just like those were. But I want to wait until those get accustomed to being on the ones on the platform. Pray. And everybody pray we get some more swarms. Our garden's doing good. Still got to clean up around. Yeah, we got to clean up the debris. The old plastic buckets, but... <laughs> the ones that were falling apart, but the peppers and everything are doing good. The cherry tomatoes are starting to get a little bit of size to them on the... A lot of blossoms now. These guys are chilling outside because they love them outside to eat. And, you know, right. I'll let you get your Prosecco over that way. Not on me. I'm going to just move the rabbits and stuff. Yeah, well, I've got the dog on me, dear. So we'll take a walk over to the swarm and let you see what's going on with them. These are all our fruit trees and nut trees and the grapevines. Grapevines are really loaded this year. So we're going to have a good harvest, hopefully, to get the rain that we should to make them grow. You can see all the, see all the grapes started here. I don't know how good you can see it with the... Oh, how good the lighting is. It's getting late. This is our seedless concord. We made some jelly out of this and we froze some of them. She made a, a Concord grape pie, and that was good. And those are our hazelnut bushes. They're six feet tall now, they're only three years old. When I put them in, they're like this a little stick. That's three years growth here. I gotta re, re level this stand, put some blocks under here. And uh, that's the hive that the uh, swarm's going to go in there. I'm going to fix the top tomorrow night after I get home. A lot to do and so little time to do it. And let's see if we can show them. Yeah, there's, the, there's the swarm box. You can see that in this corner.
box has got to come down and be put over there. And once I take this box down, I'll put another another nuke box up. But I think I'm going to put it a little lower so I can handle it. I'll be down on these lower branches. So I want to take it out of here. Easier to take them out. As long as you put the swarm commander on the tops of the frames and at the entrance, they uh, eventually take a liking to the box. You have to have wax foundations in there, though. They've got five wax foundations. And that gives the queen a place to lay new eggs and feel at home. And once she starts laying eggs and feels at home, the rest of them all feel at home. All right, see the poppies are all bloomed. We put in some more elderberry bushes. So now we've got three elderberry bushes at about 18 inches high. It's a lot of work, but we have fun doing it. I'm supposed to go on 12, so That'll give me an extra day or two to during the week to get some of this stuff done. All right, this is Clay from Hope's Backyard Farm saying join us again and God bless.